Okay, and welcome to my newest video, Shima Girls. Now, here's my next question. Why are so many of our black women still greasing their scalp? Why are they still using hair grease, you know, for example, like Ultra Sheen, even Vaseline, the Three Flowers one, which is known as Tres Flores in the Afro Texture Latin community? I mean, here we are in the year 2013 with an indescribable amount of information at our fingertips as it relates to black hair care and there is still a woman of color out there greasing up her scalp right now as we speak. Well, I have four simple words for that woman of color and for all others who are doing the exact same thing. Stop greasing your scalp. You are not going to ever see any significant amount of hair growth if you continue to do this. At least not the type of hair growth that so many of our Shima girls as well as myself have achieved. Okay, which is mid-back length, waist length, and booty length. And here's some examples. Now let me proceed to explain why we shouldn't be greasing up our scalps nor our hair for that matter with hair grease. Ladies, hair grease is nothing more than a byproduct of petroleum and I've spoken about this before in previous videos, okay? Petroleum is an ingredient that basically blocks out moisture from our hair, all right? Understand that it blocks out moisture from our hair. Petroleum is a cheap ingredient, okay? A very cheap ingredient which provides cheap results. This means that you're basically just clogging up your scalp, ladies. You know, it gets trapped, all right, with that petroleum sitting on there. And this petroleum creates a barrier, and this barrier blocks your hair strands from receiving any type of moisture when you are greasing your scalp and hair up like that. Okay, I'm gonna post a picture here and it's gonna be like an example of what you're doing to your scalp every time you're greasing it up with hair grease, which is nothing but a byproduct of petroleum. Okay, again, you're basically suffocating your scalp when you're doing this. Now, with all of this said, I know I know, ladies, that our mothers and grandmothers have passed down this destructive hair myth, you know, about greasing up our scalps and greasing up our hair, and they made us believe that, you know, somehow we're moisturizing our scalp and hair by, you know, greasing it up, putting grease on it. But unfortunately, we are not. And believe it or not, some of our black women are using the actual petroleum jelly jars, you know, that actually have written on petroleum jelly. actually just getting the actual petroleum and putting it on their scalp and hair you know which is nothing but petroleum so that's how deep our black women have been brainwashed into believing that these products full of the worst ingredients ever will you know somehow moisturize our hair and 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 get it to grow and, and not only this, Shima Girls, but even if you have not been using hair grease on your scalp and or hair, you probably have been using a product that contains petroleum in it, okay? Or some other type of moisture blocking ingredient in it. Because remember, ladies, most of the black hair care products, and I'm always reiterating this because it is the truth, most of the black hair care products that are targeted to us, the black woman, contain harsh ingredients that one, does not 
moisturize straight through the hair shaft, which means it only lays there, okay, on top of our hair strands. And two, the products are, check this out, the products are either too greasy, right? And why do they feel too greasy? Because they are full of petroleum and other petroleum-like ingredients that blocks out moisture, okay, and just weighs our hair down. So now, with all of these facts on the table, explain to me. Explain to me how are you ever supposed to reach mid-back length hair, waist length hair, booty length hair? Now, the way I reached my current booty length hair and the way my Shima girls reached or have reached their mid-back length, waist length, and are on their way to reaching also booty length hair is by one, using our Shima oils, okay? Our Shima oils, this is what we're using, which does not contain petroleum and does not weigh your hair down and actually penetrates straight through the hair shaft, okay? And can be used on both chemically treated hair and natural hair and biracial hair textures. And number two, we are using our protective styles, which helps to maximize our hair growth results. So Shima girls, let's stop. Let's stop this ridiculous hair myth in its tracks today that if we grease up our scalps, our hair will so-called grow, will so-called be moisturized. Let's stop it, okay? Because really, really, because if that were true, then why didn't greasing up my scalp and my hair work for me? How come that didn't work for me? Because I also fell for the hair myth of that greasing up the hair and scalp will keep it moisturized and help my hair to grow, and yet it never did. It stays stagnant at shoulder length level. Why didn't yours do the same? Grow down past that stereotypical shoulder length level and grow down to your waist, to your butt. Why? Exactly. Because it's just a myth, an erroneous myth. And once more, if you have your Shima oil, please use this and only use it on your hair. The bulk of the Shima oil, you use it on your hair. And it contains the very best natural ingredients like almond oil, coconut oil, soybean oil, biotin for thicker hair, ginseng, all right? The best types of ingredients that is excellent, you know, custom made for our afro textured hair to thrive. Well, with that said, thank you, Shima Girls, for listening again, and have a blessed day. Bye.